Hi everyone, Sean here. If you're new to the channel, I talk about all things guitar and drum related. And in this video, I'm reviewing very quickly the Zildjian 15 inch K-Suite Hi-Hats. I'm filming this in late 2020, so this series, the Zildjian K-Suite series, is about two years old. Overall, the aim of the Zildjian K series is supposed to be a worn and dark line of cymbals, and the Zildjian K Sweet series is supposed to be on the brighter end of that. So let's say you take a Zildjian K Dark Thin Crash in an 18 inch size, and you compare that to the Zildjian K Sweet series crash in the same size, the Zildjian K Sweet Crash will be brighter. But in this video, I'm talking about hi-hats, so let's talk about these hi-hats. So say if you buy a 15 inch pair of sweet hi-hats, you're gonna get a very thin top and a very heavy bottom. So I went on memphisdrumshop.com, and on average, the top one is about 1,100 grams, and the bottom one's about 1,700 grams. I feel like with most hi-hat lineups, you do not get that weight discrepancy. You usually get about 400 between the bottom and the top. So keep that in mind when you buy these. Zildjian argues that creates a more articulate hi-hat, but keep in mind that these are 15-inch hi-hats, so they're still not gonna be more articulate than a 14-inch or a 13-inch. Another feature that differentiates this from other Zildjian K-series cymbals is that, if you look right here, we have an unlaced bell on the top, and the bottom, and the bottom hi-hat's also the same. I believe the crashes also have an unlaced bell. But I have a Zildjian K ride right here, a sweet ride, and that actually does have a lathed bell. I don't really know why they made that decision, but they did. So beyond all the marketing, I want to give a few quick pros and cons and then get to a sound demo. So pro number one is that these hi-hats have a really, really great washy sound. If you want to open up on these hi-hats, they sound beautiful and very musical. And I know these aren't Pisces, but if you want to play a very Steve Jordan-esque, thick, heavy pocket groove, these are fantastic. And pro number two, for 15-inch hi-hats, these are very articulate. I used to own a pair of Zildjian K-Lite hi-hats a few years ago, and I got rid of them. And the reason I got rid of them is that they were not articulate cymbals at all. I feel like with the Zildjian K light hi-hats, my doubles would just get lost into the top cymbal sometimes, and I do not have that problem with these hi-hats, which is fantastic. And now onto the cons, and for con number one, I have you have to be very heavy-footed with your hi-hat foot to get the most out of these cymbals. I feel like to get that articulation that I was talking about in the last pro, you really have to be very heavy-footed and really push down with the ball of your foot on the hi-hat stand, or else you won't really get that. And for me, at first, that was kind of annoying, but I did get used to it. And con number two, these are not all-purpose hi-hats. I wouldn't buy these hi-hats and think they're gonna cover all the bases in every musical genre and musical setting. These hi-hats clearly favor a drummer who wants to play thicker grooves or heavier styles of music. So say if you're playing hard rock, metal, or blues, and you just want to leave these open and just get that really nice, warm, washy sound, these are fantastic. But say if you're in a jazz combo and being really dynamic and being light on the hi-hats is very important to that playing situation, I would probably avoid these hi-hats. I'd probably recommend Zildjian New Beat hi-hats or Zildjian K-Custom Dark hi-hats in that context in a 14 inch size too. So in conclusion, these are fantastic, excellent hi-hats, but they are situational hi-hats and they're pretty expensive for situational hi-hats. So keep that in mind. So now we're gonna hear the sound demo of this and I'm gonna play this with and without the bling ring tambourine on the top. So if this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and let's get to the playing demo and I'll see you in the next video.